Medals are being handed out at the Special Olympics World Games. 25 different competitions, all open to the public. KCAL 9's Car Finstrom dropped in on the U.S. bocce ball team and learned about the unique bond between its members. A lot of people play in the backyard, but they just throw the ball out and, and just play, and they don't realize there's actual court rules. Brian Jacobson not only has a heart for bocce, but also for the athletes here at the Special Olympics. The special education teacher from North Dakota has watched close relationships develop between teams of siblings and other family members in the past. But this year marked a first in his 30 years of coaching. It's really a bonding thing, I think, you know, between us and and uh, I get all this experience because of him. Alan and Alec Gustafson are from Oregon and are father and son. We have to work together and we can't get a lot of pressure on us. And this year the U.S. team not only has one such duo, but two. See him growing up and developing over the years, that made us uh, really proud of him. James and Joe Volpert are from Omaha, Nebraska. Before. We started this, he was kind of standoffish, but now he's always a uh, big smile and all this sort of thing. There you go. He got to do a lot of high fives, and all the people standing around there did high fives with him, and that was great. This is pretty unique. You know, both of the fathers are in their 70s and doing bocce with their sons. They've been doing it for quite a while, so it's a lot of fun. It, it made my heart go. and. Uh, Really made me feel great to see all these guys out there cheering us on and all this sort of stuff. And if you want to add to that special feeling, you can come out and cheer on these athletes. All the events are free and open to the public. Reporting here from the Convention Center, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News. For a list of competitions and the schedule, go to KCAL9.com and click on Scene on TV. That is a beautiful story.